Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Coach Eric here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to actually get the Scan Profit Chrome extension. Um, so first thing you guys are gonna to wanna to do is go to the Chrome Web Store. I'm gonna include this link of the Chrome Web Store for Scan Profit below. Um, first, I'm gonna show you guys how to just uninstall it. Um, right here, you would just basically right click or double click, just hit remove from Chrome, and then remove. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually go ahead and install it. So you're just gonna search Scan Profit, and if you guys scroll down, we are right here. We got 11 reviews. If you guys could, I would love to see a couple nice reviews and just send me your guys' reviews in the DMs. Love to see that. All you wanna do is hit add to Chrome, add extension. Now in order to make the uh, Chrome extension pop up, you guys want to go to a random Amazon product. So this could be literally any product, does not matter. And once you do that, you're gonna go over and you can basically just refresh the page because now it's gonna notice that you got a new Chrome extension. It's gonna get set up and you're gonna see this little icon down here or you can actually also pin it up at the top and then just click it here. And so right here, it's gonna ask you to log in. So I know a lot of you guys probably don't have an account yet. So all you wanna do is hit create account. And then this is where you guys are gonna go ahead and create an account and just hit start free trial. And that's it. Once you've done that, they're gonna use that same email and password you've used to log in. So if we go back over to the Amazon page, we're gonna log in, boom, boom, and we're in. Now I'm gonna show you guys kind of the settings that I'm using just to help you guys out even a little bit more. So these are the settings that I use right here. So I make my buying criteria, I make a minimum profit 250, and I like to have a minimum ROI of 25%. And then additional costs, so for those of you guys that maybe have a prep center or something like that, you can input a prep fee in here. So if it's like a dollar per unit, you could add that in here so you don't have to do the math every time. And then also we have the inbound shipping fee. I like to use 0.6, so this is basically 60 cents per pound for the inbound shipping. Um, you guys could just copy that setting. Uh, most of the time for inbound shipping to FBA, you're not gonna be paying 60 cents per pound, but it's better to you know shoot over the moon. That way you're actually making more profit than you think. So that's why I use 0.6. And then that's pretty much it for my settings. Uh, for local fulfillment, I do FBA. So for those of you guys that are FBM sellers, um, you would wanna select FBM. And the reason you wanna do that is because anytime you open up a new product, it's immediately gonna open up FBM stuff. So that's why you would do FBM, or if you're doing FBA like me, you're gonna select this on FBA. This is what I have for my quick info, all of these tabs on, and these are how my panels are set up. So you guys can go ahead and just copy those settings. But that's exactly how you go ahead and download the extension. Like I said, guys, if you could, please drop a review. It would really help us out. And uh, yeah, send me those reviews in the DMs because I'm curious to see what uh, some of you guys say uh, in your review. But uh, that's everything. I'll see you guys.